Hi beautiful people out there this is again Ashish from Ashish and welcome back to yet another uh, tutorial another day I love it happy to see you again all of you smiling faces well guys today in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make a photo manipulation just like you know Cal who is a very famous Instagram profile so we'll just go to the techniques how they he uses in the photos by adding some kind of you know bokeh light apart from that you know by adding the color effect with light is you know subjects or the creative objects like stars and cartoon effects that everything i'll just do it in this photo so before any further ado let's get straight into the video till then guys be creative and be awesome So guys, so here we're gonna edit this photograph. So just right click on it and make a duplication of this image. Now we're gonna crop the image, select the crop tool and select the 8 is to 10 ratio. That is our Instagram ratio. So we're gonna up upload this photograph to Instagram. So we're gonna just crop the Instagram size photo. Now just crop and just hit OK. Now just we're gonna just add. let's select the photo or the face of the model image by using the quick selection tool and just click on this plus icon to make it selected in a precise way so here i have only selected the face image of the model you can also use perfectly you know to select the lasso tool to select it in a perfect way or you can also use the pen tool to select this model image there are many ways to different, you know, select the model image or to select any of the object. Now here we have almost select done our process of selecting the image of the model. Mostly we have to focus on the hat, yes, because we want to add a light on the hat region. So we gonna just select the hat precisely. Now make a duplication of the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Now also make one more duplication of this image and flip it horizontal way because there is actually a lot of you know whitish image on the background on the right side. So we're gonna just reduce it. So let's just select add a layer mask on this layer. Select the brush tool, erase it from this side because we want that we want to remove that white in whitish you know, background from the image. So we're gonna just delete it from the right side and we're gonna add it flip it just horizontal way so you can see the difference now it is looking kind of perfect before it was very much whitish you can see we have already removed this whiteness in the background so let's just delete it from here select the brush tool and you can just erase it in a perfect way you can either you can also use the eraser tool you know to delete the background now here we gonna you can see the difference it is now looking kind of very perfect now go to the file click on open and let's add this background just drag it and drop over here now go to the edit select the free transfer just place it below the subject layer because we want to merge it so we're gonna just press ctrl T and press alt and shift key from the keyboard to make it look smaller now you can just place it uh, wherever you want this background now we're gonna just merge both the layers add a layer mask on this select the brush tool and just erase this portion because it should it should be you know very much necessary that your background should be merged with the original photograph which we're gonna add you know so it is very much important so we're gonna just erase it so that it may look more gradient look and just give it look more realistic and natural so here you can see we have perfectly added the background bokeh in the photograph now press ctrl j and make one more duplication of this layer and just place this bokeh image over here and just remove other person uh, you know erase some unwanted portion which, which you don't want 
so let's just select the eraser tool and just delete it from this side and just make it look more now select the brush tool and just erase this portion because it was looking kind of in you know, a clone image so we're gonna just reduce that big white image big white bokeh from the image now you can see it is looking kind of perfect and it is making the photograph to look amazing and now just merge first of all we're gonna just add some more you know png pop-up chats png so just select this here is the pop-up just drag and drop over here you can just download this for free from the links down given in the description so just place it somewhere over here and let's just uh, select this one and press layer by cut and just place it on the above of the model's hat image all right now it should look like it is glowing so we're gonna create new layer create a clipping mask right click on it and select the create clipping mask option from there so it will only affect the beneath layer select the brush tool and just pick this you know pinkish color by pressing the alt key so it will automatically select this pinkish color and just paint this on the hat region because it should be looking like you know it is uh, glowing so we're gonna just change it to overlay and you can see the difference it is looking very very original and kind of very perfect so here also we're gonna just paint it again let's create new layer and create a clipping mask again do the same process select the brush tool and add some more light on the image and now we're gonna just add a soft light to the photograph So just change the blending mode to soft light and now you can see it is looking kind of perfect. Now we gonna just add, first of all we gonna just create new layer, select the brush and just pick the black color and select the black stroke over here because we want to sh make sure that your that pop up chat looks perfect. So we gonna just place it somewhere over here just make it look like this place it on the below portion of the you know, image so that now just place this layer below the chat or this whitish chat so you can see the difference this is more highlighted and it is looking kind of perfect now select the selection tool and just select this you know bubble images right click on it and select layer by cut select the brush tool and just place it on the mobile screen so that it may look kind of you know chat is coming from the mobile screen so just right click on it and flip it horizontal way now just place it somewhere over here near the mobile screen so that it may look that it is coming from directly from the mobile screen now we're gonna open this bokeh image just drag and drop over here you can just download it for free from the links down given in the description now just press ctrl d to de decrease the size of the image or the bokeh now change the blending mode to screen here you can see it is looking kind of you know bluey so we're gonna just press ctrl l from the keyboard that is levels and just move the curve from left to right in order to decrease that bluey effect of this bokeh now select the eraser tool and just delete or erase some unwanted bokeh which you don't want by erasing it with the help of eraser tool also just erase the edges of this bokeh now it is looking kind of perfect so you can see the difference it is kind of giving it a amazing look you know let's just place it somewhere over here now we're gonna select this heart and just place it somewhere over here yeah now this one is looking kind of cool now we're gonna add a blackish effect on the background near the bokeh to get more you know original and amazing look
you can you can place this bubble particle wherever you want it is totally up to you so let's just first of all let's just go you can see the difference it is looking perfect and we're gonna just remove the blemishes from the image so I am using skin finer tool to smoothen the skin so you can see the difference it is automatically it will smoothen the screen and just make it look more and more amazing and just hit ok so you can see the difference now it is looking perfect the skin is you can still more you know remove some blemishes or the spots from the image so select the patch tool spot, spot removing patch tool and just drag and drop from the area where you want to remove this spot just select it like this way and just drag to other portion it is kind of very simple just select this portion and just place it somewhere over here yeah this one looks cool let's remove this also just drag and drop over here now we're gonna just add some effect of the blackies so let's just create new layer select the brush tool and select the black color or paint one stroke over here and just make a blackish effect so that your you know bokeh should look actually very clearly so we're gonna just place it somewhere over here below the bokeh layer you know because we want to make our bokeh to look perfectly so we're gonna just add this black effect over here and you can see the difference here is a before and here is the after now we're gonna just you know more almost we have done everything so let's just once again duplicate this image now we're gonna just merge all the layers let's open the reference image it is totally bluey so we're gonna just merge all the layers and select this kind of effect of the blue by using the camera so just make the shift key and select all again let's just make some more blue uh, you know this color paint this now this one is looking cool now just select all the layers just right click on it and select merge layers so it will merge all the layers from here again select the crop tool to just you know crop it perfectly and it will just remove unwanted you know background from the image now just go to the filter and let's just play with the color correction method using the camera you can also apply the preset which i have already handcrafted for you guys you can just download it for free from our website also or i'll just show you how you can color grade in this by using the camera you can just add a temperature and we're gonna just add a bluish hue because we want a kind of you know tealish blue color and a kind of orange effect in the photo so we're gonna just add a little bit of you know blue primary color go to the hsl tab and just select the orange color and make the perfect skin tone you know it is very much necessary that you should always maintain the skin tone very perfectly let's add some more temperature of the bluish color so that it may look kind of you know perfect and very bluish effect with you know kind of callop style so select the saturation and we're gonna increase that you know pinkish effect or the pink color which is which we have painted on the hat of the model so select the orange and just make sure to maintain the skin tone as much as you can so you can just play with the orange color according to you 
let's add a little bit of you know vignette on the image to make it look amazing let's add a midpoint also make sure to add you know perfect feather this is looking kind of perfect you can add the shadows make sure to add the shadow that should be of bluish color you know because our whole photo is of kind of bluish effect so we're gonna just add a little bit of shadows of blue tone and highlight should be of you know that yellowish or the reddish yellow color because it should be of the skin tone because we want to add that highlights on the skin so it should be of the skin tone just make a little bit of saturation and you are done now let's again just go to the at this one you can add the contrast that is totally up to you you can just decrease the highlights or increase it you can just decrease the shadows let's just increase the whiteness a bit and you can just increase the blackness or let's just decrease it because we want a very perfect blackish effect so we are gonna just decrease it and you can just play with this dehaze a little bit plus one if you want and add a clarity to plus three and just add a little bit of vibrance so that it may look kind of perfect and enhancing you know let's select the curve tool if you want to add curves you can also add and finally we have done our process of editing you can add a little bit of sharpness so you can see the difference it is really looking very amazing so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just uh, you know press the bell icon subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified also don't forget to you know visit our website that is www.ashwirkrishnan.com from there you can download this backgrounds and many more cool photo editing as video editing stuff for free also check out our second website filterpreset.com also guys don't forget to you know follow us on instagram just type ashwir creation so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative be awesome